Okay, about to do some test welds on some 304 stainless rectangle tubing, one inch by one and a half inch. And uh, it is, uh, I'm not gonna back purge this. I'm just trying to get the welder settings and all that. So uh, if anybody's pointing that out, I'm not ready to do the final weld yet. Once I do, I will back purge it. So we make sure we have good, good welds. So this is 120 thousandths wall thickness, and uh, I'm gonna do some fusion tacks. And we got I got the welder on 200 amps, which is kind of all the way up. All right, uh, so a little bit of test welding there. And I think I touched that with my glove and got a black sp smudge on it there. Um, I was gonna show this and uh, see what you guys think. On the outside corner joints, um, it's, you know, especially like this one here, see how it's sort of grayed over? And then on the inside joints, it's really bright looking and well-defined. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm using a number seven cup and I'm thinking that on that inside corner joint there, uh, it's helping hold the shielding gas in better, and that's why I'm getting that nicer looking weld. Um, on the outside joints, you know, you, you sort of that grayish looking, uh, you see the same thing there on that joint, and, and that just more grayed over. So I need to work on those outside welds a little bit and probably just run a larger cut for those. I don't have any larger cups. I pretty much use the same thing for everything, but um, I think I do I do have that one. You'll have to excuse this drawer because it's really messy. I've got this uh, Furic Fupa cup, and so I might could run that and see how that does. So uh, we'll see about that. Anyway, guys, I'm just working on this uh, some mock-ups here and um, getting a feel for the welder settings and all that. Uh, pretty happy with it. You know, except for that black smudge there. Um, to me, they look, you know, the welds look pretty good. So just got to get the back purging set up and, uh, you know, of course, do a little bit more work to get prepared. But just thought I'd show you this this uh, little stainless mock-up stuff I'm doing. All right, kind of a little bit of an awkward piece to weld and I had a couple of touchdowns in, in some areas and then of course the black smudges from my glove got on there, but um, let's look at this one. So both of these are, you know, an outside joint and uh, that gives you a look. And then let's look at the uh, top part of this. All right, that's a pretty good view comparison there. That right there is where I touched it with my glove and it grabbed some oils or something off of it. But I think in general, you know, if you look at that, it looks like it's less corroded or exposed where this is all dark looking. I don't know if that's showing up in that light or not. There, that's, that's a better look at it. 
See how that's sort of just, I don't know, kind of hazed over, dark looking. So I think it made a difference. Now this weld's not very good, not very straight, but. But definitely a big difference uh, when you have, you know, a joint like that to, to trap it. All right, guys, uh, that's it on this one. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. See you.